Another amazing rescue, this one in Cantonment, where a man was tasked with getting his family to safety during the storm. Cody Long is live in Cantonment. Flooding from Hurricane Sally comes just six years after the devastating flood of 2014, Cody. Yeah, many people around here will never forget that flood. Uh, the worst in 30 years, and they never thought that they would be flooded again so soon. You can see that neighbors have left out their damaged furniture on the curb here in the Bristol Creek neighborhood. Home. After Sally made landfall, the water started closing in on Nick Shuck's home from both sides. I would say by 9 o'clock in the morning, it was maybe 10 to 12 inches deep inside. Started coming from the back and from the front. Then they heard some help from the outside on Harlington Street. We started hearing jet skis and rescue boats driving up and down. Nick, his wife, their kids and dog made it out the door. They waded into the water to wave the rescue boats down and they were taken to dry land. So you can see one of the water marks here. About six hours later, they were able to return home. They wondered where their koi fish had drifted off to but they found all five of them in their swimming pool. Here he is. Including one that's 17 years old. So this is going to be the, uh, the koi pond until we get that koi pond back up and running. And uh, these fish survived the 2014 flood as well with the previous owner. And right now they are thankful that they have flood insurance and that they were able to help one of their neighbors uh, rescue him. He is in a wheelchair. Reporting live in Cantonment, I'm Cody Long, WKRG News 5.